first compass to my channel and please don't forget to click comment like and subscribe so oh the topic that we today i'm ready to go with use to the uh, dacp relay so before we go into the implement by the dacp relay you need to understand what is dacp so dacp is the one protocol that you provide the ip uh, automatically uh, without uh, assign by manually so in this scenario and for example uh, this pc is client and uh, then the packet is called dacp it's covered to find the dacp server and the dacp server and the uh, packet is uh, dacp offer and then the client understand dacp request and the server is under dacp okay so what is what is the base condition or what is scenario um, to implement a DHCP relay. So, please take a look at this another scenario. If in case you have the already the server that role as a DHCP server, so after the client request to the the file request to the get the IP address, it will send the traffic to the firewall, and the firewall this firewall will roll in DHCP relay and relay the packets to the the rigs to the DHCP server. So, right? Do you understand uh, what is different between uh, this, uh, this scenario and uh, this scenario, right? Okay, the rest of the template gets to the point. Um, okay, so and, and then I have the two um, the two client as well, uh, the client PT1 and PT2 and the uh, server that I roll act as the DHCP server, but it stayed in another the network segment I can show you at here uh, window yeah one and stage another in yes in this uh, VLAN okay I'm at, and just take a look at it Uh, here is I, 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 I just uh, make the sub interface. Uh, I can create the sub interface. So the VLAN uh, port five and port five take a look on the port five and connect us to um take a look the port five. Yeah, port five and uh, connects to the port group drinking and we take a look the port group drinking. Okay, the we speak trunking. Okay. Uh here's the VLAN turn is for internal like uh, for the client. The VLAN for the client uh for the window turn and the VLAN 20 for the window server. So uh let's change the network adapter to uh best correctly. Oh, okay, go to the setting and edit. Wait a minute, it's just it. Okay. Okay, it's correct uh, at the VLAN stand uh, for the client and as I can't just check the bit. Okay, let's go to the same, the same port group, okay? The same port group and the server, you need to change as well, but actually I think it's changed already. Okay, it's VLAN 20, as already. Um, so, yeah. so now uh, what is need to do on uh, to implement the DACP relay. So, the normally, uh, after you go to the directly to interface, you will have the DACP here, right? So, a DACP server is yes, the is the in the first scenario that I told you at the moment. Yes, bro, us the DACP server, but you have, but in case you have the another DACP already, bro, or DACP server already. So we need to uh, click here in the ball DACP in uh, the interface and scroll down and here you can see S1 and click on the S1 you will see the mode the server of the link relay so you click on relay and fill the IP address of the window server the server uh, that acts as the DACP server okay I can show you yeah okay you need to make sure your uh, firewall the firewall can uh leads to uh that servers okay whenever I can okay the ping about yeah that's not good 
and then after that um yeah and after that uh, we need to have the create the some policy to allow the traffic to uh, perform allow traffic to carry the traffic from the clients to the server to request uh, the acp so uh, go to the policy and object and on the firewall policy uh, uh yeah and create the already and here we need to create this, this policy but i, I can uh, explain you uh, with this policy okay this policy is my internal d d and z uh the acp yeah the come the traffic is coming from the internal the traffic is coming from the internal go uh i was going in the first to the d and z so okay because what it, i'm going to dmz server and the source i just uh yeah i select the all but you can uh, specify the ip address uh such as um something like this you can specify the wall which source can accept uh, which source with a match with this policy okay and this nation as well and schedule and set all the way and the three and the uh, icmp for the ping allow the ping and uh, allow the dacp traffic okay and the action and click the okay and click okay uh if in case you here no need to enable the uh, nap right you don't need to enable the nap because you, you don't need to translate the, the ip address right uh, in the firewall it have all, all everything uh, interrupting the because you have set already ip address on uh in the, in the firewall so we have directly connected already no need to uh in the now uh okay and after that uh you can go to the window server and create the dhcp server okay here my dhcp server uh, you can keep on um here after you uh uh, install after you add a feature DACP on the uh, Windows above, you just click here and click right click and on the new scope and then connect and write uh, something for example it's such a test okay and start IP and uh, address for example okay first of all it wants to show her something and match and uh, exclude address no, no need okay and the add uh, list during you can set the day or hours or minutes whatever you want so yes Config DSV, yes, an option, but I'm not configured because I'm already to convey it here with my IP address and uh, the pool address and rank from the 100 to 150 uh, list. Uh, you can see here the first PC on second PC to get IP address from 101 and 102. Here is a reservation. Reservation, you can store the uh, and after that, the niche after the oh, this PC, for example, this PC that have this MAC address, uh, reconnect again or uh, request the IP again to be able to get the IP what you want okay and this scope uh, here's option the router uh, gateway for the route uh, the traffic for the client the DN DNS server okay DNS server so oh I want to you remind you uh, one one idea even if you uh, convert the DACP on the uh, DACP server after you reply with uh, to those client Need to know that what is the gateway of those clients what is the gateway interface uh, ip gateway uh, in the network segment the client network segment right so in, for example if uh, in, in this interface is the gateway for the client we have a 102.168.1.1 so uh, when you convert the dacp server here the gateway you need to set this ip right okay now uh, after you uh, configure uh, everything uh, then you need to go to the uh, client and plan win first first okay. you can check the cmd and so ip config to list the ip address okay you see this ip address is uh, from um the get from the dacp server you can specify uh, ip config slash four to uh, see the mac address okay zero zero and end with 25 okay. you can see on the server uh, release okay yep zero zero and then 25 Okay. Uh, can okay. 102. Okay. 102 and plus plus all to see the physical address. A00 and B0. You can take a look at this 00 and B0. B0, sorry. Okay. So here's just the simple scenario to, to show how the condition or how the scenario you need to uh, implement the DHCP relay. So I think this video is very helpful to you and, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, goodbye guys.